everyone. Welcome to Pimo Canada English. I'm Zheng Hui, ARCC, an inactive Chinese lawyer. Last time, we explained the refugee theory. Today, we will explain the refugee appeal. Refugee appeal may be made either by a refugee claimant whose refugee claim was refused by the Refugee Protection Division, the RPD, or the minister, where the minister does not agree with a positive decision by the RPD to confirm refugee protection to a claimant. Refugee appeals are dealt with by the Refugee Appeal Division, the RAD. The basis for refugee appeal is the RPD was wrong in law, in fact, or in mixed fact and law, or the RPD breached a principle of natural justice. Last time we mentioned that not all RPD decisions may be appealed to the RAD. In the following circumstances, the RPD decisions cannot be appealed to the RAD. The refugee climate is a designated foreign national. The refugee climate withdrew or abandoned their refugee claim. The RPD decision stated that the claim has no credible basis or is manifestly unfounded. The refugee claim was made at a land border with the United States and referred to the RPD as a safe third country agreement exception. The RPD decision was on a vacation or sensation application made by the minister. The claim was referred to the RPD before December 2012. The claim was deemed to be rejected according to the exclusion clause because of an order of surrender under the Extradition Act for serious non-political crime. If a refugee claimant falls under any of these prescribed situations, their recourse for refusal is judicial review. Pre-removal risk assessment may be a solution provided they are eligible. To appeal to the RAD, the appellant must file the notice of appeal to the RAD within the time limit and perfect their appeals according to section 159.91 of the Immigration and Refugee Protection Regulations. Generally, the RAD conducts reviews on paper and no new evidence may be submitted to the RAD. But if the evidence arose after the refusal was not reasonably available, or the climate couldn't reasonably have been expected in the circumstances to have presented to the RPD, it may be submitted to the RAD even though it wasn't submitted to the RPD. If new documentary evidence is admitted by the RAD, then a hearing may be held if the evidence raises credibility issues of the climate that is central to the claim and justifies the outcome of the decision. After having conducted its review, the RAD will either confirm or set aside the RPD decision. If it set aside the decision, it will make its own decision to substitute the RPD decision. However, if the RAD thinks the RPD decision is wrong in law, in fact, or in mixed law and fact, but it can't make a decision without hearing evidence that was presented to the RPD. It will refer the case back to the RPD for redetermination. Appeal to RAD is a major undertaking. If you will be doing it by yourself, make sure you are fully competent. Otherwise, retain an ethical and competent immigration practitioner to represent you. For more information, visit IRB webpage Refugee Appeal in the description below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. We wish you a wonderful Canadian immigration journey and welcome you to reach out to us. Next time, we'll explain the immigration appeals in Mandarin. See you on September 26th.